Well, this is the the double edged sword of these early states, Iowa, New Hampshire, where where the uh, the electorate is unusually locked in, sees themselves as having kind of this civic duty of of being the first line of defense winnowing these candidates. If you're somebody like Ron DeSantis and you were coming into the Iowa caucuses with the polls already nationally looking like a real two man race, uh, I think you could count on a lot of Iowa voters, a lot of New Hampshire voters to do a lot of soul searching and and not think of Donald Trump as the the inherent incumbent and 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 really you know uh, you have a real shot of of them breaking your way rather than his way between the two of you. But when you have this situation where there is not this kind of growing consensus that that those are the top two guys, when you have Trump and then you kind of have everybody else, well, then all the voters in Iowa they they activate the the, the really uh, really intensive part of their brains where they're like, well, I got to give Vivek a shot, I got to give Nikki Haley a shot, I got to go see what Tim Scott has to say. Maybe I'm going to vote for Mike Pence, you know. And and this is not an environment where where Ron DeSantis is poised to make up 40 points or something like that, where if, if you have a significant chunk of the electorate who's actually attending uh, all kinds of different events and, and essentially trying to give every single candidate a handshake test, that's not where Ron DeSantis wanted to be. Um, so I, I think and there's and then there's also, you know, another portion of the electorate even in states like like New Hampshire and Iowa, where if they're presented with a, uh, a a test like, well, okay, is it Trump or DeSantis? That's an easier math problem to get your mind around than am I going to vote for Donald Trump or caucus for Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis or Nikki Haley or Vivek Ramaswamy or five or six other people. And in that environment, um, you know, the, the more informed people are, are, are uh, breaking a bunch of different directions. And some of the less informed people, um, not uninformed, but just people who have not spent enormous amounts of brain power on this, are more and more defaulting back to Donald Trump because he seems like a consensus candidate. So Ron DeSantis kind of gets it uh, from, from both directions uh, uh, in this environment we're in right now. 